What's popping y'all? This is your girl Sophia looking crusty as hell. I just got out of the gym. Please don't judge me. Today is my self maintenance weekly self maintenance day. So I'm gonna hop in the shower before I put my self tan, before I do my other things. So before I work on this hair, let me quickly show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be using my favorite hair products, just my shampoo, my conditioner. This is the best conditioner ever. Got me smelling so good. My hair smells so good after this conditioner. And before I apply my self tan situation, I always dry brush. So okay, so this is a dry brush, but I don't use it dry. I don't like dry brushing. I use it in the shower with my little Dove soap so that like I get all the like my outer layer of my freaking skin out. And I'm also gonna be using my exfoliating gloves, my coffee scrub. It's in my bath. Exfoliate it real well. I do like once a week. I like exfoliate it really well. I also forgot to mention I had oil on my hair because before I went to the gym, I put oil on my hair. So, because I'm like still growing my hair. And all right, let me just hop into the shower real quick and I'll be right back with you. Y'all just got out of the shower, feeling super free, super clean, squeaky clean. It's been like 30 minutes in there, so obviously. But, um, so what I'm gonna be doing now when my body dries, I'm gonna be applying my self tan. I'm using this one. This is the one that I started using months ago, and honestly, I haven't even tried anything else because this thing just works for me, personally. Um, this is the darkest. It's like, it does not make you orange, at least in my understanding. And I'm gonna be using the, what the heck is it called, 10 Mint? of the same brand and again this is the only one that i try i haven't tried anything else because it works for me so i'm going to be using it obviously not going to shoot the process because i'm going to be but um what i usually do this thing says you need to leave it for an hour i usually try to leave it for more than an hour just to get like the more um lasting tan on me so i put it all over my place on my back um, oh, actually not on my face. I, don't, I do not put it on my face. Maybe I will today because I usually just use a foundation of a matching color that's like a little bit darker than my actual skin tone, but maybe I will be using it today on my face just to see. Maybe I'm not gonna hold it for more than an hour. Maybe like a 30 minute or something, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, y'all, my face is looking really gray. My room is freaking dirty. I look a mess. It's okay, it's fine. It's a maintenance day. We'll get over it. But um, before I wash off all my self tan and stuff, because it's been way over an hour, almost two hours that I've been doing it, um, I had to do my eyebrows. Last time I did my eyebrows, I also put self tan on my face, which I told you guys that I like may or may not do, but I decided to anyways. And here's the thing. Last time I did it, um, and I tint dyed my eyebrows with my eyebrow hand. I'll get into it just in a second. It turned orange, so I'm hoping this is not, this won't happen this time, but we'll see because I have no clue. I applied very little self tan on my face. I literally put like the remains of my self tan that were on the little mitt, like tapped it on my face. So we'll see how that's gonna work. And today I'm doing a little bit of a more intense eyebrow thing because I feel like my eyebrows are not very symmetrical and I will try to dye them so that it's like less evident and stuff so for this I will be using a thread I'll tell you what I'll show you my whole thing um I went to like an eyebrow school a couple months no last year 2020 wait what is it 2033 so I went there 2022 I believe is when I went to this eyebrow school and I've learned a lot and one of the things that I've learned there is I'm about to show you taking a thread like this size this size thread it doesn't have to be exactly this size but this is just what I'm doing and I'm taking this little thing it's brow paste it's white so I'm taking a piece of it on my hand it's covered with self tan but it's okay so i'm taking on my hand kind of like touching on it a little bit so it kind of melts and then i'm taking this thread and i'm smudging this eyebrow thing on it and 
now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start shaping my eyebrows. Let me show you. So here's my eyebrows. They're looking weird. Sorry about that. But... So I'm making like a straight line here. And it looks straight on myself. And I kind of like, so basing it off where my pupil is. So this is the highest arch where my eyebrows are supposed to be. Kind of like laid out where my eyebrows need to be and from what i can see it's looking pretty good like the highest arch is where it's supposed to be basically the highest like the actually no this was a little bit messed up but but it's okay um so here's how you do it basically this part of your eye and you kind of like just go up this is where the beginning needs to be right right here and then so if you look at yourself and you like go through your like pupil and imagine like a line that crosses your pupil obviously you have to look straight i'm looking at the camera right now so i'm not looking straight but if you do look straight yeah this is where it's supposed to be so and then like the the end of it i don't know what to call this this place but this is basically this line that goes through this is where the end of your eyebrow needs so i'm gonna be creating like a straight line that would connect those lines. This helps me to see that this eyebrow is lower than this one. This one's like higher at the bottom. It's at the bottom, like, like my bottom hair start growing way higher on this eyebrow than here. So that's another um, reason for me not to sleep tonight. Because this gives a symmetry and we don't like a symmetry, you know what I'm saying? This little glass container. I'm gonna be putting my eyebrow henna here. I've got, I'm gonna mix a regular brown with a dark brown right here. All right, we are almost done. Now I'm just adding two drops of water. And now I'm gonna mix it up using this little thing. Not my thread. What are you doing, girl? So I'm just mixing it up like this. I'm gonna put the stuff that I had on the tip of my little brush here. And I'm just gonna be starting with my with this eyebrow. And now I can clearly see the borders so I know where to go and where not to go. They do look better. They do look way more symmetrical than they used to. Holy cow, I don't know why I haven't done this before. I mean, a half months ago, but like, I don't know why I didn't do it like last week or anything. Yo, I'm kind of super happy with what it's turning out to be. This this eyebrow is like drying, started drying already. This one hasn't yet, it hasn't started. Actually, maybe it has, it just like, hasn't dried as much. They definitely look much more symmetrical than they used to, definitely. Even though they're still not perfect, they still, they are looking much better than what they used to. So, I'm happy about that. Yo, I look like a freaking, <laughs> I don't even know what. Y'all, we are done. They're almost dry. I'm gonna wait for like 10 more minutes. I'm gonna go and wash off everything. Hold my face in the first place. Uh, my hands in the first place. My body, my face, my eyebrows, everything. We're gonna wash off my fake tan. We're gonna wash off everything. And when we get to my little eyebrow, oh, blah, blah, blah. I, I cannot speak today, y'all. Um, my little eyelashes. I'm gonna show you how I do my eyelashes every week that lasts me the whole week. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Y'all, we made it out alive. My eyebrows turned out amazing, although not. This one is like weird, it's orange. I knew it was most likely gonna be the case because I told you guys about like the problem of dyeing your eyebrows when you have your self tan on. They don't turn out necessarily the way they want them to. All right, y'all, I'm putting a moisturizer on my face because after I'm done with my lashes, I will be doing my makeup and getting ready because I got stuff to do tonight, okay? So I'm putting my Pond's moisturizer on, not touching my 
eyelids or anything because I'll be doing my lashes so I don't want anything on them. Let me show you real quickly what we're going to be doing. Show you the lashes that I'm using. I've had, girl, let, let me tell you, I've had them for a year. Still have them. You should take good care of them. You can just keep reusing them. That's exactly what I'm doing. So now I'm going to be choosing the lashes I'm going to be putting on. I'm usually putting three lashes on each eye. So... I start cleaning them. What I'm doing is just like with my fingers, I'm taking the glue off and kind of like go through them, make sure there's nothing on them, no like some weird like little hairs or anything, but they're clean and good to go. So the way I determine which lash goes where, let's say I'm doing my left eye, this eye. For you, it's gonna be I don't know what well, you know what I, I don't know but my left eye this eye so the outer corners of your lash the bigger they are on the outer corner side like this one oh my gosh let me clean this little tweezer thing this yeah you kind of you can kind of see now see how the outer part of it is bigger and fluffier than the rest so if that's the case this goes on my outer eye right here and then and this is the same for my right eye let me tell you the lash i will be using on the outer corner of my right eye let me just find it here first so this one for example see how it's bigger on the right side it's gonna go on my right corner right here now let's figure the middle the middle kind of uh i try to take the fluffier evenly distributed lash for the middle so it kind of doesn't really matter too much what exactly you put on your middle as long as your outer lash is what it's supposed to be the one that kind of like the outer the outer part of it like expands i think i'm going to be using this one for my right eye it's kind of i hope you guys can sort of see it it kind of is a little bit bigger on the right side it's okay it's okay. The overall look of it is pretty even to me. So I'm going to clean it. And I'm going to put it away. Knowing that this is going to be the middle lash for my right eye. So I'm using, I'm going to be using this one. For my left middle. Like right here. And now I'm trying to find corners. The corners kind of work the same way as the very like outer lashes. The the corners, something you put here, are usually smaller. They're way smaller than your middle part or way smaller than your outer part, but they very much look like the outer parts. They also but here they, they will be bigger to the outside but smaller to the inside. Bigger to the outside, smaller to the inside but they are on their own are much smaller than any other lash so for example let me clean this one real quick to show you for example this one i'll be using it at, as my right inner lash let me put it aside and let me find the left so this is what i'm going to be using for my inner left eye so now that i have them arranged I hope if I show this, they're not gonna fold. They probably will, but I will try to. So this is for my le left eye, this is for my right eye. And I'm gonna be using them just like that. So let me show you exactly how we're gonna be putting them on. All right, first of all, let's make sure, you will see it part of my mirror, I'm sorry, but like I need this in order to not screw up everything. I'm taking a little Q-tip and I'm going through my lashes with it to make sure there's like no makeup, nothing that would prevent the false lashes to be glued onto my real ones doing it with the with both the eyes obviously see i took my makeup off yesterday right and i went to gym took two showers today there's still makeup there so i'm going through it's not a big deal if you like if they're not completely perfect as long as there's like no dust glue um stuff like that you'll be okay the next thing that we'll need is like little tweezers those are actually bigger they're a little bit more comfortable for me to use uh it's okay if you just use your fingers although it would be harder if you just use your fingers so try 
using a twi using tweezers that would be so much better uh they don't have to be big like these are you can use any tweezers like sometimes i use those they're they're much smaller so it doesn't matter but you gotta have some sort of tweezers your lashes ready and this is the key is falscara i think um this is what the package looks like it's from kiss falscara uh we're gonna be using bond um and let me show you how we're doing it i'm taking the bond and what i'm doing taking my tweezers pulling up my eye it's gonna be ugly okay it's gonna be ugly but it's okay and now i'm putting stuff just on the outer corner it doesn't have to be the whole entire lash length it can be just the roots but i usually do like half of my lash length Alright, this thing is on awesome. Now I'm taking the outer corner and I'm putting a little bit of the the bond the glue on the actual lash itself since we cleaned it, right? So it has nothing on the bottom of it, on the base of it. So I'm putting a little bit of the bond on it. Kind of blowing it a little bit. And then taking my tweezers by the very like top part of the lash I just glue it in like that then I use my fingers just once you don't want to go too deep into the eye like you don't want the lash to actually touch like this part right here like you want it to be glued to your lashes not the not the eye so we put this one on kind of let it sit for a little bit now i'm taking bond again putting it on the middle part Alright, taking the middle part, putting glue on it too, on the base. Blowing it, let it dry a little bit. Take my tweezers, grab on the top, because if you go too low, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be hard to take your tweezers out. So there we go on the outer corner, I mean inner corner, sorry. And inner corners are usually the easiest. Putting a bit of it on the actual lash. Yo, there's a plane flying. Holy smokes. And 
and stick it in. My hand started shaking. This is not good. But we did it. So, here's what we're looking like. Now we just have to wait a little bit for them to dry before we put the bond, uh, the seal, sorry, the seal layer on. I'll show, oh my gosh, I'll show, I'll show you how I do it. Alright, so now a little bit of stuff, um, like pro tips and everything. So, let's seal the deal, right? We're going to seal these lashes and the way we're going to do it, we don't need a bond anymore. So, what I do, and I'll show different ways because not all of y'all have this and I'm not about to, about to like go and like make y'all buy it. So, I'll show you different, several ways. If you have this, great. Let me show you real quick how you can do it with these tweezers. Take the seal, at least this, this is what I do. Take the seal and put it on the actual tweezer, just like so, on their inner parts of the tweezers, just like so. And then what I do is I just go like this. Let me use my mirror. Oh my gosh, everything's falling apart. Just go like this. And I do this. Okay, so this is how I usually do it. This is how I usually seal it. That's it. We're done. If you don't have this thing, if you don't have this, because this is the easy for me to do. If you don't have it though, take the seal and just do it as you would like doing your eyelashes, but only go at the very bottom. Don't go all, all the way. Now, let it dry for a little bit, because I'm going to show you something else. While this is dry, I'm going to seal this part, this eye. 